Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre-market video for Monday, March 11th, 2019. I am Frank Ochoa, a.k.a. Pivot Boss. Happy Monday, everyone. Here's a look at the ES in the daily time frame right now. What you'll notice right here is that price has pulled back uh, in overnight trading right into the midpoint of Friday's rejection day uh, right there. And you can see a nice bounce already off that zone. That's what we call a midpoint retest and uh, price bouncing off that area already giving a lot of importance to that 2742 level which has also been a key level for us for quite some time you can see how it has traded around this level here recently and so right now we're starting to see initial signs of strength obviously but we are trading right at the previous sessions high so if there's any rejection here price is already having some initial trouble in this zone if price cannot find acceptance above 2760 or so uh, we could begin to see some weakness back toward the day's low. So it doesn't have to necessarily just continue higher. If price can find acceptance above 2760, that opens up some strength here for the week. And we may be looking at a bounce back toward the previous month's close. Remember, this is our key level as well. That's the midpoint. And that's the 47s there. And price came down below it and is trying to come back above it. I mentioned before, if on a closing basis, we cannot hold above that 47. That opens up a move back down toward uh, the next major area of support below 2700 and 2680. So those are the next two key levels. All right, here's a look at the NQ. What you'll see here is a nice bounce as well. Not quite the midpoint from Friday's range, but a decent pullback to the pivot range nonetheless. The pivot point for the day in bouncing. You can see it's above the previous uh, sessions high and now testing the top of the pivot range for the month again uptrending behavior close above the monthly pivot range and then price drops into the pivot range this is usually seen as swing bullish trending behavior to the end of the month so this pullback right now gave good discounts bulls are defending here now can uh, a continuation be seen because if there's any rejection up here of this move that's when we might see some movement down below so again, right now, everything kind of trending a little bit higher still. We're going to continue to keep an eye on the midpoint here at about 7K because on the closing basis, if we can't hold above that level, that's when it opens up to more downside uh, price action ahead. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Now, crude has had tails in both directions here. Uh, you know, again, we have this very narrow trading range that basically comes into play from 55 to 57 and change. A nice trading range that is developed here. Recently, we've had tails here, tails here, tails here, big tail Friday, and now a tail here this morning. Uh, it's really whipping in both directions quite a bit. I mentioned before, 54.55 to the 55 level is the major swing area of support that bulls need to keep bid. And they've done it here after they took a bid. They were able to keep it bid here and now on a big rejection keeping it bid again. Uh, but now there are clearly participants that are along there with stops below that zone. I would say stops may start to come into play below the midpoint of this rejection day here. Anything below 55 now may lead to more weakness that opens up a return back to 51.20. Again, with this narrow range here, if prices can continue to stay above this zone, I think there's a good shot to get an upside break. But as we know, whenever you have a narrow range like that, there's no directional bias. Whichever way it goes, it goes, so we will see how it plays out. Overall, we've been trending higher, so I would expect further strength unless that 54.55 is taken out, in which case, how much lower do we go? Do we get back to 51.20, or do we also get back to the 49s? I think 49 CV pot could be in play if price cannot hold uh, the 54, 55 zone. So again, important area right here, but we could continue to see chop in this range before directional bias is confirmed. Okay, let's take a look lastly at gold futures. You'll notice with gold here, we were trying to find a strong pivot low. We thought uh, I thought that a, a maybe taking out the prior pivot low here would be about in line with what you would see with rejection potential we didn't quite get that low this day right here looked pretty good in terms of rejection day but price is stuck or had been stuck here for four days around VPOC on Friday we finally got the, the upside break on a midpoint retest so that was pretty solid there 
uh, the way that that played out here coming down toward the midpoint bouncing and getting an upside break anytime you see an upside break like that a stop run day higher the next day is typically digestion with a pullback fade back toward the mid bulls need to keep this area bid right here 1293s or so and that could open up more upside toward 1315 1316 so that's uh, the near term here as bulls try to keep this area bid at the moment again not fully convinced that this still won't come down and take out these lows uh, you know again I still think with this pullback coming into the trigger zone there's still a potential to see another wipeout but again you gotta continue to watch that 1293 1292 zone for signs of weakness as that will likely open up at least a retest of these lows so that's the level to watch as we head into the rest of the week everyone have a fantastic week of trading and I'll see you in the trade room take care